สวัสดีครับ and welcome to Udon Thani International Airport after arriving on my Nok Air flight and sitting here for two hours it's time to fly back to Bangkok on Thai Small Airways in economy class let's get checked in The airport itself is quite old, with several local shops and a single cafe in the land side. Nevertheless, it was enough for my four-hour transit. While the terminal is quite small, many airlines fly to Udon Thani. These include Nok Air, AirAsia, Thai Lion Air, Thai Vietjet Air, and of course, Thai Smile. Thai Smile allows 20 kilograms of checked baggage. However, Royal Oki Plus Silver members get 10 kilograms extra. Now that we've finished the check-in process, it's time to head upstairs to the airside. There really is not much to do in the airside except sitting around, plane spotting, and getting yourself some snacks. I got myself Thai tea to satisfy my sweet tooth. I was able to watch my aircraft arrive from Bangkok s u w a n a p u m Airport. The aircraft flying me back to Bangkok is HSTXM, a six and a half years old A320-200, delivered in February of 2014. The aircraft is named k r u n g t h e p m a n a k o n and can carry a total of 168 passengers. Today's boarding process will be a little unusual. Instead of using buses or a jet bridge, we will walk straight to the aircraft and board via stairs. This gives me the opportunity to take amazing shots of our aircraft. Welcome on board Thai Small Airways A320-200. The cabin is in the typical 3-3 configuration. Let's have a closer look at my seat before we take off. I am 174 centimeters tall, and there is more than enough leg room for a flight this length. Keep in mind that Thai Small is not a low-cost airline, but a regional subsidiary of Thai Airways. Small bottles of hand sanitizer was offered to our passengers to commemorate Thai Small's eighth anniversary. Normally, they would offer limited edition desserts, but this fits in more with the time that we are living in.
Today's flight will take us southwest towards the Thai capital, Bangkok, also where I live. The flight time will be 42 minutes, and we are scheduled to land at 8:25 p.m. local time. For this trip, I had to use my old camera. I apologize for the shaky footage. I really can't stress enough how excited I was to be flying Thai Smile again. I think it's been around five years since I've flown with them. As we reached our cruising altitude, it got pretty dark, so I wasn't able to film anything outside. This A320 is equipped with screens, which drop down from above. Videos on aircraft cleaning procedures and flying in the new normal were played. So far, Thai Small is the only airline that have removed in-flight literature from their seat pockets to reduce touch points on board. Kudos to Thai Small for doing so. Only the necessary stuff such as the safety card and air sickness bag are left. There is pretty much nothing to do on this short hop, except for playing with the air nozzles and staring blankly out the window. Soon enough, it was time to start our descent into Bangkok's Wanapum Airport. So how was my first Thai Small experience? It was great, considering the fact that there is a pandemic and the airline is not allowed to serve food. Hand sanitizers were very much appreciated, and they have decided to give out these for the whole month. The seat offered lots of legroom and was very comfortable. Staff were friendly and helpful. Thai Smile by far has the best measures to prevent the virus, in my opinion. This ranges from removing in-flight literature, handing out hand sanitizers, and a rather unique procedure of leaving the aircraft, which you see after landing. Would I recommend flying Thai Smile? Yes, definitely. We have now arrived at Bangkok's w a n a p u m Airport. Welcome to Krung Thep Mahanakorn. Passengers are called to leave row by row in the order of C, H, B, J, A, then K. Thank you very much for following me on this journey and the support on this channel. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I have plans to travel domestically in the foreseeable future. Thanks again for all your support, and I'll see you again very soon.